Hey, this is Kevin with the 24-7 Health and Fitness Center. I thought I would talk about where the fat goes when you exercise. So, when you eat, there's basically three types of foods that you can eat. Fats, sugars, and protein. When you eat the protein, if you don't build muscle with it, you pass it. It's either going to go straight to the bottom in the bathroom or it's going to float. You can't really say it any more simple than that. However, sugar and fats can be stored. When you store sugar, it turns into a fat. When fat breaks down, it turns back into sugar and your body can actually use it. So when you store it into fat, you break it down, it turns into glucose. Now glucose, for the sake of argument, let's just talk about C6H12O6. This is basic glucose sugar molecule. Now, when you breathe in six oxygens, which is O2, so 6O2, basically what happens is energy is released, and next thing you know, the sugar molecule or the glucose molecule is broken down into six CO2s and six H2Os. That means the sugar breaks down and you either sweat or urinate the water out to get it out of your system, or you exhale the CO2, which is where the carbon goes. So, sugar breaks down, you either sweat or... Now, you breathe in. Whether you know it or not, I just burned fat. An example of this is when you're out of shape, you haven't run for a while, you get on the treadmill, and all of a sudden you're running, 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 and you're out of breath. You have to catch your breath. You have to take in more oxygen to catch up with that sugar that's already broken down to get that carbon out of your system. So that's why it teaches you to run more and more and more so that you can get into shape so that you can process cellular respiration. Pardon me, cellular respiration. A little bit difficult to say sometimes. So, remember, sugar plus oxygen breaks down into carbon dioxide and H2O. Thanks. We look forward to seeing you in the gym.